Hi friends, my name is Abhijit Singh and in this video I am going to explain about the PQC layer. Its full name is Pavement Quality Concrete and it is the topmost layer of rigid pavement highway. In the flexible pavement highway, asphalt is used in place of PQC for surface cores. In the previous videos, I have explained about the earthwork, DSB and DLC. Please watch that videos to get the clear concept of highway construction. Now coming back to PQC, the laying is done by the use of concrete pavers because compaction here cannot be done by using tandem roller as in DLC but uh, it is compacted by the use of needle vibrators and <coughs> it is a red gen paver here you can see its cost is around 25 crore and it can lay up to 15 meter width. The plastic thing that you can see is called separation member and it separates DLC layer with PQC layer. Now the thing that is being fixed in front of the paver is called starter and exactly the same setup is used at the end of laying called stoppers. The laying will be between these things. Now the thing that you can see are called double bars. They are fixed between panels to transfer the loads in longitudinal direction. Tie bars are fixed in transverse direction. The diameter of double bar is around 35 mm and that of uh, the diameter of tie bar is around 16 mm. <clears throat> In the paper uh, you can see that uh, how the double bars are being set up for laying in the starters. Now coming to the concrete part. From batching plants to the site, the M40 grade of concrete is brought by the HIVA or by the use of dumpers because if we use millers in place of dumpers, only 6 MQ concrete can be brought to site and it will slow the process of laying. And one more thing, it is to be noted that the temperature of the concrete is maintained cool otherwise cracks in panels may occur so that's why chilling plants along with batching plants are set up. Now talking about the concrete test. The lab team and the client comes to check the slum value of the concrete. The slum value lies between something 15 to 25 mm and after checking the client passes the concrete that uh, it is okay and uh, laying can be done. Now let me tell you one thing. Not only this are the only equipments that are used for laying but along with it excavator is also used for spreading the concrete hips because paver alone cannot lay the huge concrete dumping and sometimes things like uh, funny things actually happen like the dumpers get stuck in concrete and their front tire raises up so in here also the excavators are used to clear the concrete now you can see the laying is being done and <laughs> near the starters the compaction is done manually and the thing that is coming along with it are called smoothners because they smoothen the upper surface of the PQC and after that uh, the thickness is checked whether the right thickness is achieved or not and generally in the morning after laying uh, concrete Panels are divided by using concrete cutters alongside uh, the double bars so that for uh, suppose in future if any rectification is required it can be uh, easily panels can be replaced we do, do not need to break the whole PQC and texturing is done on the PQC so that the vehicles that will be passing on it will not get skidded and after that curing and all is done and uh, these are all about PQC if you have any queries or any questions regarding uh, PQC you can comment in the section below and please like this video share with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching